yeah, my mum is not okay with it. Really? Like, I told her when I first moved in, and she was like, are you kidding? Like, do you not have money? Do I need to put more money? And I'm like, mum, it's fine. Like, the stuff is fine. She's like, that's disgusting. Like, you should not be doing that. You should not be eating out of a bin. That's, like, not right. You're going to get sick. You'll get food poisoning. And I'm like, mum, it's actually fine. Like, I've Right now, food waste is a huge issue globally. In Australia, we throw out $8 billion worth of edible food every year. For every five bags of shopping, an average family household will throw out one whole bag of edible food because it goes out of date or they don't need it. 18 to 24 year olds are one of the biggest single wasteful groups in Australia. So we decided to meet up with a few students who found an interesting way to put an end to the waste. Apples, apples always apples. Potatoes. potatoes tomatoes, tomatoes. Mushrooms yeah. and plastic packaging. Dumpster diving is about rescuing edible food from supermarket bins. Most fruit and veg that Monique finds is totally edible. It just needs a wash. You'll do a big shop and you'll buy all these fruit and vegetables, yeah. but you won't plan your meals or make sure that you use as much food as you can yeah. and not waste it before it goes off. I'd rather minimise waste in my life, and this is one way to minimise waste. Because if you get the smallest blemish on, say, a banana, they chuck it out, even if it's perfectly ripe. So Monique took us to a supermarket up the road to show us exactly how much food is being wasted every day. What have we tonight? Um, we've got some tomatoes and um, zucchinis, but see, people won't pay money for this stuff if it's got these blemishes and stuff on it. Would you say it's edible? Yeah, completely. It's just some things are a little bit too soft. You can actually scrape away most of the edge, just um, peel it back, and then it's be totally fine. So, yeah, just be sensible about what you're eating. Cherry tomatoes. Yeah, completely. There might be a couple in there that are still a bit off, but um, for the most part. What's wrong with that? No idea. Maybe use by date. Seventeenth of August. Yeah. That'd a lot of things are off by expiry dates, but like they're totally fine. Like yogurt often enough will last like weeks after, like but they, they chuck it out. It's pretty confronting um, the kind of stuff that was being thrown out. Yeah. We just don't like leaving a mess. Obviously going through the bins, leaving rubbish on the street. So um, we just make sure that we put all the rubbish back in, anything that flies away as well. Banana! Alrighty. Alrighty. So we're just going to take it home now and we'll wash it all um, to make sure that um, it's all okay and anything that we've grabbed that isn't edible we'll also throw out then. But yeah, you just got to make sure that you wash it. Wash our hands as well, it's pretty bin juicy. Monique reckons that just from this one night, they've probably saved about $40 to $50 on their weekly food bill. Tonight we've got um, some oranges, apples, um, some spinach, lettuce stuff, but some of it's not very nice. Um, that's why they can't sell it, but what you do is you just pick out bits that you're not going to eat. Um, garlic, heaps of potatoes. Um, they're just a little bit soft, that's why they've been thrown out. And stuff like this, this is why it's been thrown out, because it's got a blemish. Um, and obviously, like, you're not going to eat that, and you're not going to pay money for it if you find it in the shop. But it, all you have to do is chop it off, and it's like the rest of the piece of fruit is completely fine to eat. This is like super nice pasta. So I think that that would generally be like $5 a packet or something like that. This is what we've just made for dinner from all the dumpstered stuff. Um, got onions, garlic, tomatoes, and then the pasta. Um, got some mushrooms here that we're gonna chuck in in a little while. It's really yummy. It always makes me pretty cross that this would have gone to the bin when it could feed me for a week at least. If I cooked up a big pasta with this tomatoes and didn't share it with everyone, then I'd have a frozen meal for every night for this whole week. 
and that's pretty sad that and this is just one tiny grocer in a small part of Sydney. Like if you think about this and how much this one store is throwing out and then you think about like the whole of Australia and how much food is going to waste, not just from shops straight into dumpsters, but people's homes and stuff going off after they buy it as well. It's just really, really sad. It's really sad.